Well, good evening. I'm Julie Williams. Jefferson County can move forward with big plans. A brand new police station is in the works for Mount Vernon. News 3's Maya Skinner joins us live in studio with the latest details. Good evening, Maya. Good evening, Julie. Mayor John Lewis tells me this project is worth at least $10 million. I spoke with him, the assistant city manager and the police chief about the process of getting this new facility going. Mount Vernon City Manager Nathan McKenna says a new police station has been in the city's comprehensive plan for at least a decade. Now, after completing several projects and getting the funding, he says in March 2020, the city was able to move forward with construction companies and architecture firms. This building was a converted car dealership from 1979. That's how long they've been here. Um, this new building is a 25,000 square feet modern police facility that offers everything that they're going to need for the future. Uh, plenty of space for training, office space, um, a dispatch that's more suitable for what they need. Mount Vernon Police Chief Trent Page says their current building isn't up to date for the station's needs and says the new one could positively impact officer training and help the well-being of the staff. Things have changed not only within law enforcement, but just within public codes um, that this building just cannot keep up with. And so we have very limited uh, facilities for bathrooms. We have ADA compliance issues. We have a lack of space and just a, no ability to expand anywhere within this building um, and or train officers um, in the building either. Mount Vernon Mayor John Lewis says the City Council is excited and proud to move forward with the project and how it will impact the community. This new facility brings us into the 21st century and our police department. You've seen these police departments across the nation and the training when they're lacking in training, the trouble that they can get into. You're only as professional as the training you're receiving. McKenna expects the first bid package will go out in January. And we'll be bidding out the steel and the roofing material at that point. Um, and the reason why we're trying to push forward on that is because with the recent market in building goods, um, we know that prices are continuously going up and the lead time on those two products is significant. McKenna also expects the project to be completed by May of 2023. It will be located where the former fire station used to be. Live in the studio, Maya Skinner, News 3.